only am I probably the last person on YouTube to sow their onion seeds this year, but what I'm going to do is just try and have a little bit of an experiment. Okay, very often what you will see is lovely, fantastic gardeners filling their trays with the best compost they can possibly find, sprinkling a few onion seeds on top and then lovingly, lovingly just sifting a little bit more fine compost on the top. They put it with a little cover on in a nice warm place and sure enough, in up to a few weeks, they will start to grow shoots and then at the point around about an inch, two inches tall, those shoots start to get a crook neck and that is when they need to be transplanted. However, what I am going to do is try to avoid the next step in that process, which is the arduous, let's face it, task of transplanting teeny tiny seedlings into next stage up modules. So what I am going to do today is, I know this is only a small tray, I might do a couple, I'll see how many seeds I've got, um, but I'm going to do exactly the same thing as that in my trays, but I'm also going to attempt <laughs> to direct so, I mean there's 70 modules here, one seed into each of this, these modules. And, and the whole point of this is to try and skip the pricking out the tiny seedlings step. So what I'm hoping to show by the time it comes to planting these seedlings out is whether or not it is worth going through that time consuming task for a little bit of extra time now at the sowing stage or whether the seedlings grown in the modules will fare just as well as the ones that have been um, painstakingly pricked out or whether they will do even better. I don't know. I've never done it before, but let's have a little go. What do you think? Modules or trays? Okay, that's one of the most boring bits done, isn't it? We've got some just perfectly ordinary, multi-purpose compost in here, nothing fancy whatsoever, and uh, I have tamped down. It's always a good idea if, um, if you've got another pot exactly the same size as your first one, you can use that to tamp down the soil, just to make sure there's no big lumps or um, air pockets, so that would be good. Of course, if you've got a module tray like this, <laughs> 70 cells. There's nothing for it but to just go through with your fingers. It's the quickest and the best way. So now we've got the multi-purpose compost in here and what I'm going to do first is just take a look at how quick and easy it is to sow your seeds in a seed tray in a way that you might think, well why aren't you doing them all like that Jane? These are Bedfordshire Champion, meant to be really really reliable variety with all-round flavour. I think if you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know how disappointed I was with last year's onion crop. So this year I am determined that we are going to get onions that I can store, that I can plat, that I can even give away if necessary. Sorry I've just got soil in my eye. Um, but these have got, let's have a look, always tells you on the packet, 350 seeds, <laughs> which I think there'll be enough um, to sow. So all I'm going to do is just very lightly, I'm, I am actually going to put them in my hand first. You can see actually there are some, I mean carrot seeds are way smaller than this, can you see that? There we go, they're, they're not they're not huge but they're not tiny they are <laughs> you can pick them up and then it's just a case of sprinkling them lightly on one of these trays now obviously you can use a much bigger tray but i'm hoping that in this tray i will get the same number of seeds 
as I will do in my tray with 70 modules in if I don't keep dropping them on the table like I've just done. Okay, so that's a very light sprinkling, a handful of soil and I am just going to very, very lightly cover what's already in there. I mean, you can see, you, even though it's black on black, you can actually see the seeds. So I know if I get that pretty much up to the top of the tray, that's going to be okay. Those seeds will be covered. Right. That is all I'm going to do with that for now. But really, how quick was that? Okay. Tray done. Label, of course. Just put that on there for now. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Right. Okay. Here's the tricky bit. Now, this is the part where you might think, well, doing so seeds that are that small in modules is going to be quite time consuming and I'm not arguing with that I've never actually done this before I don't know but I'm going to try a trick that I've seen somebody else use and it looked really really good and that trick is to first of all Really, I should have a saucer with these seeds in, but my hand's going to serve as a saucer today. Right, I've got a handful of seeds and I'm going to take a matchstick. Okay, it seems odd, doesn't it? Lick it, lift the seed and drop it in the thing. Don't need to lick it again, or do I? Lick it. I don't know, oh, I've got two on there. I don't know if it has to be a matchstick maybe it could just be a plain bit of wood but I'm assuming the fiery bit on the on the end of the matchstick I was going to say it's going to take a while is the bit that sticks to the seed so here we go I'm literally just got soil in my mouth literally just going to lick the top of a matchstick 70 times and pop my seeds in one in each module and you know what very often we put more than one seed in each module and we think well if one doesn't come there'll be another one but on this occasion I don't care there's going to be plenty of them anyway so I'm just going to keep going until all 70 modules are full we go that took me about four minutes and actually it gave me the chance to <laughs> count the cells there's actually 84 cells in here and you must forgive me if you've seen two drop into one or none drop into one there are going to be a few little things gone wrong but that's fine so all I'm going to do again is exactly the same as the other one which is create a right royal mess on my kitchen table and just make sure, of course it's always more difficult to do with these, you don't want to be moving the soil, the seed sown soil, you don't want to be moving that around too much so I'm just going to make sure they've all got a good covering of compost on the top. Okay done I've got my modules I've got my tray I can move that out of the way now and before I do anything else like sweep up I'm going to put them in their final resting places for the next um, month or two now what I'm going to do here I was going to start them off in propagator trays but I've actually looked and the propagate the wattage on this one is actually eight watts whereas on the super seven garland one it's a bit higher let me just double check let me see it is actually 13 watts so it didn't seem like a fair experiment but what I am going to do is use this basically like your gravel tray 
so that when I water it, look at that, fits like a glove, when I water it, all oh, the water isn't going to go everywhere and make a mess like the rest of my kitchen. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same with this one, although to be honest, I could probably find um, a smaller tray for this one, but yes, they're both going to sit in there and I'm not going to plug them in like I say, they are just going to stay indoors for a couple of weeks. I'll wait and see when they both shoot. They should all both, they should all shoot. Excuse me, I've got a terrible itchy nose. I think I've got a soil up it or an onion seed. Um, when they start to sprout, we'll have another look at them. And then once the weather has warmed up and it's not minus three in the greenhouse, we'll look at putting them up there. But until then, I'm just going to water them with my new little Christmas present, very, very lightly on top. And the reason I'm doing it on top to begin with is just to settle down any compost. I mean, these really are pretty good, you know. They give it a really nice, just gentle sprinkling of water on the top. And what I'll do after this point, once they've been watered like this, the soil has settled nicely on top of the seed, I will um, keep watering them from underneath. Okay, so all there is to do now, and they've probably had about the same amount of water, is put on the lids. Not for any particular reason at home, because like I say, I am not plugging them in, but I will make sure the vent is open so they're not gonna build up too much um, condensation in there. And then that's it. I'll find somewhere nice and light. In fact, they might do on this table because there's windows there and there's windows out there as well. And what I want to do is come back to them and see what happens if one fares better than the other, if they all just catch up in the end. I just thought it would be an interesting experiment and whatever way you look at it, I'm gonna get some half decent onions this year. Okay, let me know in the comments below if you've ever just sewn your onions directly into modules or whether you always use the tray method or maybe there's still time. Maybe you're going to um, sew them outside when the weather gets a little bit drier and a little bit warmer. Do let me know in the comments below. Um, if you haven't looked at the brand new Patreon page, I'll leave a link to it somewhere. Please come and have a look. Um, I'm already starting to fill it up with different things to see behind the scenes. So go and have a look over there. But other than that, do take care. Come back for module versus trays part two, which will be coming very, very soon, I hope. And uh, I'll see you all very soon.